can't build a house on a broken foundation. Grand rising handsome kings and beautiful queens, and welcome to the Beyond Abuse podcast. You can't build a house on a broken foundation. What do I mean by that? So, today has been an emotional day for me. Um, because I know it's growing pains, you know, um, but... You know, sometimes we got to come to the realization that you can't build a house on a broken foundation, okay? Uh, What do I mean by that? That sometimes when the foundation is broken, um, you can't build on that. It, It is what it is, you know? It's a broken foundation, and no matter how many times you try to patch it up, you try to try to make it right it just doesn't seem to work right usually because it's two unhealthy people trying to pour their love into one another you know instead of allowing each other the space needed to grow separately right you don't have to be together to help to help someone else to grow along on their journey, you know? And I'm learning that more and more every single day is that, you know, so many of us have this idea that, you know, a, if I love you, then I must, I need to be in a relationship with you, right? But that's not always true. You know, sometimes, sometimes you guys just don't work as a couple. (laughs) You're just not going to work as a couple because you both love differently. You both love differently. And for you to try and turn yourself inside out to to get the love of another person, I, I don't think that's fair. I don't think that's fair for, for any of us to ask. You know, if we don't genuinely accept and love that person as they are and at that moment say I can see myself in a relationship with this person and that's probably not the person for you right and you know what it has taken me a very long time to come to that realization you know because the man for you is actually going to take those steps, right? He's going to take those steps for you. He's not going to expect you to take the lead. Yes, do you got to show your interest? Absolutely you do. You got to show your interest, right? But he's not going to expect for you to take the lead. Like, and for me, that's that's an unhealthy man, you know, because if I, if I express my interest and you're like, uh, and you're like, like, you know, like, not no, because, you know, no is normal, but, um, you know, like, you have to get to know me like, like this. It's like, well, I, I don't, I don't want all my business out, you know, like, in the public eye, you know, like, I don't want my business out about my relationship in the public eye until like you know we in a relationship like I'm not trying to build something in front of everybody you know and it's just like social media is it's just not the avenue you know like even with online dating right with online dating you're you're emailing each other right I mean because I did this before you know I met that man in 2015 on you know, on, on Tinder or whatever. And, you know, so that's emailing each other for a few, you know, a few conversations. Then meeting up for lunch, you know, this is what we did. You know, we met up for lunch a couple of times. You know, um, you know, like I said before, I didn't have sex with him until 30 days, but even that wasn't, you know, I don't feel enough time, you know, to get to know, know someone mentally, you know, and emotionally um, and spiritually before you actually build, you know, before you actually decide, you know what, hey, we're going to go forward with this. And so, like, yeah, you can comment on people's posts and stuff like that. But it's like, you know what, if the person is not genuinely interested in getting to know you, then, you know, you know, just be okay with being their friend. You know?
know, and going on from there, you know, because I, I'm just not, you know, I'm just not the type of person to want to, to flat, you know, of, of course, in my, in what I do, right, and if I have a, a partner, you know, that I want to build with, because that's what I want to do, I want to build with, most likely we're going to probably do on the podcast together or, you know, some things of that nature. So people will eventually see him. But in the beginning stages, I don't want anybody involved in that because you can't build with everybody else there, you know. So, um, yeah, just, you know, just just being OK with being friends with the person and and, you know, you don't you don't have to be on their page all the time you know that's how i feel like I'm, I'm not on social media all the time and you know i'm not entertaining anybody on social media so it's not like you know i'm constantly on all the time you know actually i was like i'm gonna take um i'm gonna start going by my schedule i created me a schedule to go by you know so i'm only gonna get on social media for like a half an hour from in my day from like 3 to 3 30 so i have to go on and post my tiktok but i have my my va and she posts to my instagram and facebook so when i go on at 3 and 3 30 then that's when i'll interact with my other accounts and i'll um check and make sure you know her work you know was done or whatever which i know she's good i don't i really don't have to micromanage her um well, and I'm not, that's not the type of person I am. I'm not micromanaging anybody. But, um, you know, just making sure that things got posted and stuff like that. And um, that's about it. Because, you know what, I love inspiring other people. But if I can stay off of social media, I do. And so, like, when I'm off of social media, I actually sit and write and get things done. You know, like, I got all of my podcast episodes up until 1.50. Um, well, I can't say 150, but that's recording 150. But I also got some on this one because I'm recording out here, you know. So, getting those uploaded, um, working on my presentation, finishing up my program, like doing stuff like that. So, like, just you know, uh, eliminating you know, distractions, and that's how you become a, a healthy foundation on your own. You build that self love for yourself. You have to do that. You can't be a broken foundation going into another broken foundation you gotta go and, and deal with your healing you know you gotta be transparent about your struggles and and what you deal with you know because we all we all come fucked up to we all do we all have these these insecurities that make us act the way that we act that we just do but you gotta know how to cope with them in healthy ways so that you're not projecting that out onto the other person or expecting the other person to be more than what they are you know i was like people think that love means a romantic relationship or that i have to be something with you but that's not true you are love you are it all you gotta do is be yourself all you gotta do is be yourself you are the love that you're seeking. There is no other love outside of you. You just get to share your love with other people. That's it. You know, and it, I had to come to that realization like, there are no soulmates. There are no, you know, there are no such things as soulmates. There are no such things as twin flames. I believe a lot of people get stuck in that and then have us all like, oh, who's my soulmate? Who's my twin flame? You know, it's just like, no, you get to become the healthiest, happiest, most truest version of yourself. And then you get to share yourself with someone else. Isn't that a beautiful thing? And guess what else is beautiful? Even if you don't have anybody to share yourself with, you can share yourself like this. You can share yourself through writing books, through doing podcasts through outreach, through just giving somebody an encouraging word. That's it. Like, that's sharing your love, you know? It doesn't have to be in the form of a romantic partnership. You know, and I think so many people get caught up on that soulmate label that 
they're willing to cut other people's throat <laughs> to have it. And it's like, no, I'm my own soulmate. I really and truly am because I possess the divine masculine and the divine feminine in me. You know, so I never have to go searching for it. I never have to go chasing it. It's already in me. What I got to do is wait for it to manifest into my reality. To cross my path so I can say, that's it. And I felt that way a couple of times. You know? I felt that way a couple of times. But, you know, your soulmate ain't gonna run. Or the one that you think your soulmate, they ain't gonna run. They're not gonna run. They're not gonna try to manipulate you or convince you, you know, um, that they're the one. You know? It's just... It's just not, you know, that's just not it. It's just not how it works. So, um, you know, just, just realizing that and just realizing the difference between like addictive, abusive love and addictive, healthy love. You know, it's okay to be addicted to your partner, but how are you addicted to them in a healthy way? Or are you addicted to them in an unhealthy way? Because what I've learned, you know, I used to be addicted to toxic toxic love, you know, the mentally abusive, emotionally abusive, and, um, you know, trying to make you think that you're crazy, and um, gaslighting, and all that other stuff, right? And so it's like, now it's like, if, if I see that, it's like, nope, one chance, I said that before, I'll give you one chance to show me something different. And if it still looks the same, nope, then, and that's with somebody that I'm actually, that has actually expressed, <laughs> you know, because like, you know, what I said, like with the poet, it's like, I, I thought that he was writing about me, right? But it wasn't me. And it's okay, though. It's okay. You know why? Because if nothing comes out of that, guess what? His writings helped me along on my journey. You know, I'm not saying that he was totally responsible for my healing, but when I was going through my healing journey and I would look at those writings, it helped me to believe in myself and my love again. You know, so so if nothing comes out of that, great. You know, I, I didn't have any expectations anyway. I just was like, wow, he's talking about me. You know, because I did. I, even when I was at my lowest point, I was like, I know that's me. Like, I know that's who I am. You know, and so I had to get to this point, and actually, he helped me to realize that, like, I'm not just writing to one particular person. Like, I'm not just writing to one particular person. I'm writing to the divine masculine collective because every man can benefit from that. Yes, I thought that I was writing to him, but every man can benefit from it. You know, and because he he, I was not the one he was writing to. I, you know, I, he's not the one that I'm writing to. I'm, I'm just switching it, you know, and it's just to, to the Divine Masculine Collective. You know, there's no hard feelings, you know. It's just like, I think I commented on his post the other day. It was like, you know, I'm a love, and I know, I say I love you. That is love to me. Like, I'm going to come and like your post. I'm going to support you. You know, I'll buy your books. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I appreciate the gift that you gave to me. You know, so yes, I'm going to support you like this. Am I able to comment on every single post and like every single post and be there for you every single day? No, because I understand that, you know, I don't want to get myself in that position again, you know, to think that, you know, well, and I, I don't really think anymore. I don't, I'm not resonating as much as I used to with his writing, you know, but... I gotta, I gotta take a step back and be like, whoa, to myself, like, wait a minute, wait, 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 don't let, don't let these writings get to you like that, accept them for what they are, they're writings, they're inspired, you know, so they are helping you along on your journey, they have helped you along on your journey, you know, and so I do, I have to take a step back because I, I can feel myself like, you know, still being in that space of like, you know, I would love to have a man like this, but, you know, it's all words. It's all words, you know, and the words, granted, they're beautiful. They're beautiful, and I appreciate them. But, 
you know, if it was me, it would have been, it would have been acted upon, is how I feel, you know, so, if it was me, you know, and, and I'm okay with that, I'm okay with that, but, you know, just, just learning how to, um, to become more emotionally mature, and to, you know, express my emotions more, you know, so, I did, um, I did this, this TikTok video, and there's this song, I forget her name, Pierre something, but it's called Free, because I think it was the realization at, on that day when I made that, when I took those pictures and put that TikTok video up, it was just like, you know what, I'm not hurting anymore, I'm not hurting anymore from the pain of my past, I'm not hurting anymore from those past relationships. I am being more vulnerable with my emotions, um, and I feel free, you know, and, and freedom is not being attached to any outcome, any situation, just continuing to do the work and live your life, you know, as you see fit, as, as your soul sees fit, you know, so, um, so I'm going to read that for y'all what I wrote. It is on my Instagram page if y'all want to go check that out. Um, but it says, it took me a long time to get here, but I finally made it. I'm not referring to what society views as success. I'm referring to the success of inner peace, love, joy, and genuine happiness. I battled for years with panic attacks, depression, and anxiety due to childhood neglect and abuse. I experienced childhood PTSD and ended up as the other half of a toxic and abusive relationship for 20 years. The mental and emotional abuse I experienced in this relationship added to my childhood PTSD. I walked away from everything and everyone in 2015 to build a foundation of healthy self-love. My only goal was to be genuinely happy. So I said no to relationships and situationships and focused on myself and learning to love myself unconditionally beyond the abuse of my past. I needed to restore the confidence of the broken little girl inside of me and find the happiness that childhood trauma and abuse stole from her. I stopped seeking the attention and approval of others and I started approving of myself learning to love myself unconditionally. And it broke me from everything I believed to be true about myself. And then it made me and molded me into who I came here to be. It breaks down the ego to a healthy size for you to create from a genuine space of love. A healthy ego allows you to serve at a greater capacity because it's no longer about the self. A healthy ego is comfortable in both polarities because a healthy ego recognizes the beautiful balance found in both. A healthy ego doesn't strive for perfection. It strives for authenticity. Success for me is inner peace and fulfillment, and it has nothing to do with my external reality. Happiness is not a byproduct of your title, your status, your relationship, or your finances. Those are simply the icing on the cake of the in internal happiness you built on the healthy and stable foundation of self-love. So, you know, I feel that self-love is your healthy foundation. And if you haven't taken the time to heal the wounds of your past, of that childhood, if you are not comfortable in sharing the demons that you, the, the wounds, I like to call them. I don't like to call them demons. The wounds that you still are insecure about. If you're still afraid to do that, then you're trying to build on a broken foundation because you're not being open and honest with the other person. You know? You're not being transparent in your struggles. You know? I tell people, mm -mm, I don't always have a good day. You know? I mean, I have a good day, but it's not my best day. Because I know that there is something good in every day, even when I'm having my not-so-good days. You know, but I don't I don't focus on that anymore because I know what it is now, you know. And I'm not putting too much pressure on myself and just being gentle with myself, compassionate with myself. And knowing that I'll be alright. I'll be okay, you know. It passes. It passes. It
it comes up, it passes, it heals, you know? And then you find yourself letting stuff go a little bit more, quicker, you know? You find yourself just loving, you know? So let's see what the cards have for us today. So, spirit guides, guardian angels, ascended masters. <coughs> Jesus, thank you for your love, for your protection. Archangels, I thank you right now for your guidance. Archangel Gabriel, the great, the uh, angel of creation and wisdom. Speak to us today. Speak to us and 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 let us know what you want us to what you want us to hear. What's the message for us? And will it resonate? And, and and let it resonate with everything that was spoken today. That is important to build the healthy foundation. Because that is the recipe for a successful you, which is a successful you in everything that you do. <laughs> so, I thank you. I love you. So be it and so it is. Amen. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what the, the angels have for us today, what they want to say. I got to get this together here. My little hands. My hands so little. They are so little that I can barely even grip them right. So... And they like together. We gonna get it right. We just start doing it. Be patient with yourself. There we go. All right. <laughs> Be patient with yourself. <laughs> Actually, this card that I just picked up is called Steady Progress. Okay, so just be patient with yourself, right? All right, let's read it. Let's see what it says. We acknowledge you for the progress you've made and remembering love is your daily activity. Love in your daily activities. We can clearly see the contribution you're making to the world through your thoughts, feelings, and actions of love. Yes! Ah! I love when, when spirit does that. And so what does that say? That self-love is your healthy foundation. Self-love is how you progress in life. Self-love allows you to share your love in any kind of form to elevate the next person. That's what self-love does for you. And you know what? What I was thinking too about um, the poet is that, you know what? My, my whole goal here, right, in, in inspiring people is that somebody will see my story and resonate with it and then they will carry it on. So that's what I did. You know, like, it's not necessarily that I was supposed to be with him. What it is is that he had a message. I resonated with it, and guess what happened? I began to heal, then I began to share it out. So it's all giving. We're all giving. We're all serving. It's all a collective effort. It's all helping us to grow, and we got to realize that. We got to stop trying to make things more than what they are. We can love people to just love them. You know, it's, there's no, there's no, you know, rule when it comes to love, you know, love, love can be all of it, platonic, romantic, um, agape, fellatio, you know, and you can have that platonic love for another soul. You absolutely can, you know? So, um, now I'm thankful for him. You know, I'm so grateful for stumbling upon his words. You know, because I saw myself in them and I was like, yes, yeah, that's you. You are resilient, you know, you ain't going to stay down. You're not going to stay down, you know, and look what happened. So steady progress. You drew this card as reassurance that you're making steady progress. You sometimes harshly compare yourself to others and feel that you should be farther ahead on your path by now. Yet, look how far you've come, how many lessons you've learned, and how many people you've helped. Focus on your progress instead of expecting perfection from yourself. Each day, take at least one small action step concerning a project that you're passionate about. Wow, I like that. I'm going to take that guidance from myself because I know I got a lot of projects 
um, that I'm working on. I, I wanted to say something, but I got to be hush hush. Um, but yeah, so you know, just just love yourself. Just love yourself unconditionally, you know. Um, and watch how your life changes, you know, and watch how your mindset changes about healthy foundations and broken foundations. Yes, we all come with some fragments. We do. But, but what I learned about building a house, when we built that house in 2014, what I learned is that even on a brand new foundation, even on a brand new foundation, once that house is up, it's still going to have a little cracks, right? It's still going to, you know, because it, it's going to start to settle. So the cracks going to start to come in, you know? And you got to tend to those cracks. You can't just let them get all wild and out of control. You got to tend to the cracks. And the reason why a lot of relationships fail is because maybe one person wants to attend to the cracks and the other person doesn't. Um, but one person, when relationships don't work out, I'm, a, I'm firmly believing that one person wants to grow and the other one is not ready. You got to have somebody that you can grow with. And, and it's not going to always be like this, right? One might be a step ahead of the other. The other one might, like, it's a, it's kind of like a, I don't know if that's called a walk, but, you know, it's like a, it's like a, a one step, two step. You know, it's, 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 it's hard to describe, but that's how it is. You know, we walk, so it's kind of like walking, I guess, you know, one foot forward, the other foot forward. So, but remember, one foot is always forward, right? And then sometimes you might switch it up or maybe it's a cha-cha wants to uh, 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 you know like that's how it is you know it's just like but y'all y'all always together you know it's like i'm not growing without you you're not growing without me we're gonna grow together and that's that's how it's supposed to be so just make sure you're trying to build everything your life where it's a relationship but build your life first on the healthy foundation and then you'll know what you want you'll know what you are deserving of okay so i thank y'all so very much for being here i love you guys doesn't matter if you've been here if you are a regular subscriber if you are a regular listener supporter or if you are a newbie i appreciate you all for being here and joining me today but if you are a newbie i invite you to come and subscribe to my youtube channel and become a listener supporter if you are listening on apple anchor uh breaker google podcast pocket cast radio public or spotify i invite you to become a listener supporter it is because of listener support that i continue to bring these messages forth because it allows me to stay at home full time i don't need to go out and do my independent contracting when I have the listener support. So um, please consider becoming becoming a listener support. And if you enjoyed this topic, please go ahead and share it. If you're on YouTube, uh, like, comment. I would love to hear your feedback, your thoughts, and then share it out for others to experience. And if you are listening on the podcast, go ahead and share it out on social media. You guys can connect with me on social media. I would love to hear your testimonies. If you got anything that you... I uh, want to say if you got any topic suggestions, um, send them to me via via um, via social media. Connect with me on social media. I know I just said that I'm not really on social media, but I do respond to my DMs within 24 to 48 hours. So, um, and if you if you follow me on social media, um, I'm there interacting and also my social media assistant. So if she didn't get to you i'll get to you when i go on through during my 30 minute time block uh what else do i want to say oh if you are new if you are a newbie and you enjoyed this topic i invite you to subscribe to my monthly newsletter where i send out self-care tips and tools every single month to help you to dive deeper into loving yourself unconditionally and if you are interested i am doing a free 30 days to a healthier, more confident version of you challenge. It's a community, it's a Facebook community, but once you subscribe, you'll get your link and you'll also get your code so that you can download your workbook and your PDF uh, for, for free because they are $12, so you need that code. You'll get discount codes as well off the products 
Um, but go ahead and join in on the 30-day challenge. I am almost done. I am at day 23 today. Um, so, but you can jump in anytime. The videos are there. You can start from the beginning once you have your workbook. If you do not feel like printing out the workbook, you don't have to. Just write, you know, the questions in a separate notebook. But you must print out the self-love PDF because we will be using that every single day. Um, the reason why I created the community and a Mother's Touch Inc. is because I wanted to be the mentor, the guidance counselor, the friend that I needed when I was going through my own self-care, you know, self-love journey, you know, and learning to heal from the pain of my past. And um, I also experienced um, financial difficulty when I left my marriage. You know, I hit rock bottom. And so I want to be that assistance to men and women who are struggling financially, you know, after leaving an abusive situation, you know, and I learned to love myself unconditionally, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, relationally, and financially so that I wouldn't end up in those situations again. Um, so, you know, if you are, um, and, and what a Mother's Touch Inc., the mission of a Mother's Touch Inc. is to assist co-parents and families with becoming a healthier, happier, more holistic version of themselves. Because what I found is that the healthier that I am, the healthier, happier, and more true to myself that I am, then my daughter is that too. She benefits from that. So, you know, when you raise healthy, happy, and holistic children, then they have a healthy love of themselves, and they share that with the world, you know. Because what it's about is what I talked about, building that healthy foundation of self-love so that you can love others without an agenda without you know needing something more from them you know so um also you if what i do is a members only community which is a deeper dive into again loving yourself unconditionally mentally emotionally spiritually relation uh, physically relationally and financially but that is a members only community um, but if you are interested in learning about that, you can go ahead and go to my website. That's suzysuttles.com. Or you can click on the uh, the link in the description box below if you're watching on YouTube. Uh, if you want to dive deeper with me, uh, you, you will receive a 50, uh, $50 discount because you are listening to the podcast. You're watching the videos. So that code is G-E-G-A-T-Z. Um, and that is your code every single month. You'll use that code at, at checkout every single month. Um, what else do I got? Uh, I think that's it. You know, if you guys are in need, if you if you are someone you know is in need of financial assistance, or if you want to donate to the mission of a Mother's Touch Inc., you can visit my website www.amotherstouchinc.org, and mothers is spelled with a Z. And you can click on the form for financial assistance or you can click on donation to make a donation. And all donations are greatly appreciated and accepted. I thank you all so very much for being here with me today. But you know, before I let you go, I cannot send you out without a prayer of love to the universe. So let's go ahead and do that. Dear universe, I love you and I thank you. And I'm, I'm thankful for growth. Mm -hmm. I am thankful and grateful that um, life happens, right? Life happens. And there are going to be some situations that make us downright uncomfortable. But the only way to get through to the other side is to go through. We got to go through. There are no shortcuts. You know, we can, we can stop. We can run back. But... The same lessons are going to continue to present themselves until we tackle them, until we stand our ground. So I'm thankful for the lessons of growth, you know. I'm thankful for, for everything, for all of it. And I'll continue. I'll continue. Because I know that you are with me you're always with me, that I never go this direction alone, and to just continue to serve my love in this format, 
to others. You know? Because that's what it's about. It's not about love in the form of romantic relationships only. It's love is everything. Love is everything. So, it's friendship. It's a confidant. It's a supporter. It's um, a partner to build with. Love is everything. Love is everything. So, and I'm thankful for your love. I'm I'm thankful that my heart belongs to you. My heart, my mind, my body, and my soul. You got me, 100%. And. I'll continue to walk this road alone with you because nothing else matters and love is the only thing that matters. That's it. There's nothing else but love. Nothing else is real but love. True, genuine, divine love. Not that abusive shit. Not that abusive love. It's not real love. So, um, I am so grateful and thankful and honored um, to share the light of my love, the light of my love for you, because it's your love that glows through me. I'm reflecting back to you. I want more people to know that Divine love is the, the greatest thing ever. It fulfills you in every area of your life. So, let everything else go. And hold tight to divine love. The divine love is never outside of you. It's always inside of you. So, oh, it's a privilege and an honor to serve in this capacity. I'm thankful and grateful beyond anything that I could ever ask, think, or imagine. Like, <laughs> you couldn't have told me six years ago that I would be here doing, doing what I love, talking to people. I love you. I love you with everything that's in me. And I'm so thankful for your love because it has it has truly kept me afloat these past six years. That's all I've been able to depend on. And I thank you. I thank you for everyone that you used on this path to get me back to you thankful for all the experiences I'm thankful for the struggles and the shortcomings and still dealing with mental health I'm thankful and grateful for another day let's rock it out let's get her done amen 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 so be it and so it is amen um, I forgot to mention that May is Mental Health Awareness Month. Please consider donating. Please consider becoming a listener supporter. I do this to get the message out. I want more people to realize that they can live and thrive happily and successfully even with their mental barriers. That just because you experience mental barriers does not may, mean that you don't deserve a, a happy life. It doesn't mean that, you know. So, I want y'all to go out. Have an awesome, amazing and beautiful day today. From my heart to yours, as always, namaste. And be sure to check out the video, the next one.